Hi, I'm Scott from Six Points Woodworks, and we're building this 41-foot trawler yacht in the backyard of our upstate New York home. Now, she was designed with the home builder in mind, and once complete, she'll be able to cross oceans and take two people comfortably anywhere in the world that they want to go. This is the Sea Dreamer Project. I got started where we left off in the last episode and completed the aft portion of the lamination on the port side carlin. Then moving forward, because of the thickness of that aft portion, I needed to use laminations of thinner stock to equal that thickness. That was no problem, running things through the planer and then just taking a few careful measurements to make sure both sections lined up flush. Once that second layer is completed in its entirety, I'm then going to come back and cover it all up with one additional layer that will go all the way from station 6 back to station 26 at the bulkhead. With all the stock prepared and moved inside the boat, I move forward with dry fitting the pieces into position. Now I use a lot of the same techniques that I've done all along with scribing and using our bevel gauge to take some measurements so things fit perfectly. I use some screws to hold things in position so that I can add additional layers and then scribe for the bevel on the underside. And I think it's important to do this beveling because it's gonna save me a lot of time later on down the line when it comes to fairing.
With the stock surface prepared for epoxy work and our boat shed nice and toasty, I was ready to do the glue up. Now I'm only comfortable doing about two layers at a time. I probably could do more, but I know that I'll get a good result by just doing the first two layers at once. I'm using Total Boat's high performance epoxy here again because I know it works well with white oak, but it also has a lower operating temperature so I'll get a full strength cure in lower temperatures. Now I'm not talking freezing temperatures, but it'll cure down to about 55 degrees, which works well since I've got the boat shed up to around 60. Once the epoxy cures, I can remove the clamps and begin dry fitting the third layer which will equal the thickness of that aft portion of the carlin. With that third layer dry fit into position and held with some screws, I can fit for a fourth layer which will act as a finish layer and run the entirety from station 6 all the way back to station 26. And this will give us a nice even surface to attach our forward house walls to. Once all the layers of the carlins are laminated and the house walls are added, the dimensional thickness of this carlin structure will be about 5 inches, which will make for a very robust and important structural part of the boat. Before I epoxy the third layer and the finish layer into position, I wanted to add fasteners that ran through the carlin and into those short deck beams. 
If you remember from a few episodes ago, when I had the first layer of the Carlin assembly epoxied into position to the deck beams, I added some hardwood dowels. And I used dowels because I didn't want any metal fasteners to interfere with the attachment of these screws. Now, with a few layers assembled into position, I feel like it's safe to add some fasteners. And these fasteners do not have a lot of holding power going into the end grain of the deck beam. They're really to provide some resistance for downforce. Even though they're attached to the Carlin with a beveled dado, I still want to have some kind of mechanical connection there. The real shear strength in this assembly, the structure that will hold the boat in its shape, will be once the addition of the decking is added to the short deck beams and the carlin. This skin will act as a mechanism to hold the entirety of the boat structure together. And that's one of the reasons that the decking is going to be itself another lamination of plywood that is glued and screwed together. All right, these pieces are now just dry fit into position, but I have all the other components. They are cut and beveled and shaped. They are ready for install all the way from station 26 up to station six, and that would complete the Carlin lamination. The problem is the temperatures right now are just too darn cold. I was obviously able to get the first couple layers in, but since then the temperatures have dropped and apparently winter is now here. And you know, if I could just catch a day in like the 30s with bright sunshine, I know with my propane heaters, I can get the temperature up so that I can do that epoxy work and hold that temperature so the epoxy will cure to full strength. But right now, I just don't think it's feasible to try to build a tent structure in here to hold the heat in these low temperatures. I'll just wait for a better weather window because this is a really important structural component and I would rather, you know, wait and do it right, then roll the dice and hope that it works out. So there's lots of other parts of the boat we can work on. For the winter, I'd planned on doing uh, bottom planking, which is much more traditional with tar and screws, not a lot of epoxy work. So hopefully in the next couple months, we can find a weather window where we can get this epoxy work finally done. 
Now, we hope folks will go check out the description in this video where you'll find a link to Jamestown Distributors. Jamestown's been a big supporter of ours, and we hope that our viewers will help support companies that support the Sea Dreamer Project. Now, I know their discount code system's been down for the last couple months, but I believe they're offering free shipping right now on their Total Boat products, which would be a bigger discount anyway than what our discount code would provide. So please go check them out. And of course, we're big supporters of our first responders here at the Sea Dreamer Project. So if you're current or former police, fire, EMS, communications, the armed forces, whether it's paid or volunteer, and you want to have a patch from your agency represented on our Salute to Service wall, we would be honored to have it. Just send me an email at contact at cdreamerproject.com. I'll give you our address, and you can get that mailed out to us. Otherwise, your job is what it always is. Like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.